Hello so. so everybody, don't know how well you can hear me, but this is Hillbilly's here with Kirk's Master. He's going to get some stuff from his car, but you can see he went out and bought him uh, an awesome anvil, so we're going to put that on a stand, and there is a clamp over there that we're going to put on our previous anvil stand. And we have got the charcoal um, hair dryer set up going, and I don't know how well you can see, but it's pretty red hot in there, and it looks pretty cool. So we're trying it out, and we're going to see how well it melts metal and forges form. So we'll be back in just a little while once kind of everything's set up and going well. Alrighty, so here we are. Not a few minutes later, we got this thing lit up and going. You can see the inside of the crystal is literally glowing. Yeah. And we have a little bit of molten aluminum at the bottom. We're gonna toss it in the can, watch it go. Some light. Oh, let stand up. Oh, there she goes. See it collapsing in on itself. Fall outside again. Yeah. <laughs> but this time, instead of any open, the crappy. Look at how hot that is in there. Yeah. Look at it now. Just. I'm gonna throw some. Uh... <laughs> that was just a can right there. <laughs> a little bit of borax. Whoa, buddy. <laughs> You can see a boiling at the bottom there. Yeah. Not sure how well it shows up on camera, but not to get too close, it's fucking hot. <laughs> yeah. I have an idea. Oh yeah, we're gonna see if we can melt this aluminum pipe. It's pretty thick as you can see. See how it works almost that would be really cool. There'll be a lot of aluminum. <laughs> what are we casting into today? Just the usual muffin tin? That's what we have on hand. I guess so, yeah. We'll have to make an ingot thing. We yeah. Can, they're big enough, though, that we can throw them back in. Yeah, absolutely. And if this melts this, then geez, then we're all right. Oh, absolutely. Look at how that's glowing on the inside. <laughs> I'd almost be afraid of the fucking... Oh, my God, look at that. It's like... Bubble you can bubble. see the glowing bubbles. That's a little... Can I zoom up. in? No, I can. Well, you can see, like, a little liquid bubble. We're not going to know Glowing this. hot. As long as it isn't hot, <laughs> we're all good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to stand here real close to it. Yeah, pretty much. We're not going to notice until it's way low, and then we'll, we'll be like, oh, look at it. It's melting. Oh, yeah. Exactly. And you can see that the piece of rebar is glowing in there. So I'll probably get right... Basically, I'm going to try and refine the shape and do a bit of a better spoon than it currently is. So... I wish we had a camera, man. <laughs> yeah, I can try and... Here, let me, uh... Think you can probably do that with one hand? No, I can, I can take a spoon. Do you want to clean that off, then? Oh, no, that's, you're using the anvil. Yeah. My time. Pass me the ball peen hammer. Thank you. Gloves, of course, right? Alrighty. This thing is definitely ready to go. Jesus. Much nicer sound, too, than what we had before, I gotta say. Works much better. You seem to be putting in a lot less effort than it was when it was half cold. Oh yeah. I'm just trying to get it shaped a little better. Great for scooping that stuff off. It ever actually melts in there. I think it is. Kind of ridiculous. Look at that. Nice. That is definitely pounded thinner than it was before. Don't touch it. <laughs> yeah, don't touch it. Looks like a little cold now. There's a little yeah. red glow, but not much. Well, that red right there is just from uh, scale. Yeah. From when it was hot before. That makes sense. Yeah, that is. Oh, you can see this is definitely melting. <laughs> oh, that's exciting. Okay. Here, I'll help you with two hands now. Here. We'll get back to all you guys, I guess, when that's going red hot. Yeah, with this new scoop, we'll be able to uh, 
we're keeping we're keeping it warm in the fire so that whenever we scoop up the aluminum slag, it'll not stick to it. Yeah, this is getting crazy with this thing being in here. Oh, yeah. look at it! It's trying to fall over. That's what I mean. I'm kind of worried to just break in half and splash out to the ground. <laughs> Whoa! That didn't take long to heat up. <laughs> yep. I gotta put yeah, that that's. Yep. Yeah, sticker deep in there. There and you go. Just the ting. That's that. Look at that. It is it is working. You can Let's see all that molten aluminum in there. Let me zoom in a little bit. I'm sorry, I'm Look at this. that. Look at that. Oops, lots of focus in, here. In the video, you will probably notice the height difference. But I think we found a solution to the expensive propane. So anybody watching, switch to this. You can still use the same setup with this and check the hole and whatnot. We've used this tube way more than they said we should have, but it seems to be all right. Like it falls apart, yes, but it's, otherwise it works fine. I'm kind of scared by the giant bubble on the inside a little bit. Like that would just be the surface tension. If you look straight down, it's like... There'd be like a bit of an oxide layer form on the top. Yeah. And it's, it's not gases or anything. It's just the liquid aluminum being pushing against the surface tension. Well, it is getting visibly, like, I can feel it moving down now. Well, you can see how the liquid's moving around under the size. film. It's like, almost like a film on, on pudding. What if you go, like, put on bubble and want to show it something? Try. That is definitely so much shorter than it was before. Yeah. <laughs> Lift it up, let's see what it looks like. Not out of there, but... <laughs> Look at that. That's insane. That's oh. fucking cool. That's getting hot. Oh, no doubt. Yeah, Just uh, leave it in there. Should be fine. If we notice it falling over, then we'll do something about it. But... Oh, I can see it sinking. I don't know if the camera can see it, but I can see it. Yeah, it's kind of falling, isn't it? Very slowly, but... Keep it straight up a little bit. Yeah. That is cool. Didn't know if that would work. You know what's going to go next then? Oh no, that other piece is in the aluminum we found out, so... Hmm. But one of these days I'm going to cut up all those aluminum windows and stuff around the house. Yeah, we still have that uh, flywheel somewhere. Yeah. What remains of it. <laughs> That'd be hard to break up unless we can heat it really good. We do have this soft, soft. handy dandy new anvil. I was thinking if we sit it on top for a few minutes and let it get soft, not melt, and then maybe chip it apart easier. Yeah, oh man, that, that would be. The core is so thick, you're going to take forever with the hand resist. True. If it's hot, I think you can slice through. Probably, yeah. Hot knife through butter. Yeah, basically. Well, that was so liquidy. <laughs> oh! There's, this is more than we've had ever in this place. Yeah. I hope we should move maybe this one. Cool. Let's check for effect. Um, if I can get it small enough, I'll set a can beside that and see how quick it is. Don't want to get too dirty though. Should have probably done that on the rocks. Yeah. <laughs> That's what the uh, nice spoon you're making is for. True. <laughs> Hopefully, if uh, there's any amount of impurities, that they'll uh, get bound up by the. Uh, the borax. Don't forget tongs. I just moved it and it uh, Oh yeah. You see the liquid aluminum coming up through the middle of it. <laughs> I'm amazed we just melted a quarter inch thick aluminum bar. I am impressed. Yep. Like, look at that. Look at, oh, there we go. You see that? Yep. I'm barely pushing, so. Oh, look how shiny it is right in the center there. Oh, man, eh? Oh, it stopped now, but. 
We kill him. Oh yeah. Oh, as you're pushing up, it's coming up through the middle of the pipe. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, my gosh. That's more than we've ever had in there. Oh, yeah. Well, I can see it just falling right in. And the only reason that can didn't melt as quickly as it did is just there wasn't enough space. <laughs> exactly. Now look at it. Let's say goodbye to the little thing here. It's going under the surface. Yeah. And it's gone. Oh my god. That entire aluminum bar. That's crazy. It's completely gone and so is... Well, there's a little bit of it. Oh! <laughs> Pink just burst into flames. And all the plastic that'll be on the inside. Yeah. Yeah, I'll turn off the recording for now, and uh, we'll be back with you. So as you can see, Brandon is uh, scooping slag off the surface, and look at how beautiful. It's kind of hard to see with the light, but <laughs> that's kind of the point. It's so shiny. <laughs> Here, I want a little... Uh... Oh, yeah, look at that. But, yeah. That is just about ready to pour, really. Yep. Should we try? May as well. Got our tongs here. Got our slag in there. We're... Ooh, that's hot. That is really hot. All right. <laughs> You've never had it so easy. Never had a full thing, either. Look at that. That took an entire aluminum bar. <laughs> I kind of messed up that sec on that second one. Yeah, but as soon as it solidifies, we can just toss it right back in. There we go. That first one, though. Oh my god. I have to leave that for a long time. Yeah. You got water in that bucket, right? Yeah. Just get a handful of water and splash it on. Already? So, uh, we'll wait a few? That's a lot of. Yeah, we'll wait a couple minutes. <laughs> Already starting to get to the bottom now. Look at that. I bet it would still be. Probably put a bit more charcoal in, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely want to toss this thicker piece of steel. This is actually the one that we heated way back when we built the fucking crucible, or not the crucible, the forge back in the beginning. And nothing happened. Yeah. So, where would you like to toss it? Just right on top or underneath it all? Uh, try to shove it in there, where the, yeah, real hot there. Oh, show. spoon you made, make it even bigger, and cut slits in it, and you have a scoop it right in and pour it out, type of thing. Just a thing. <laughs> but it's good though, that has a lot of reach to it, so I don't have to be right in there. I'll use this for just pushing it in, because it's just, I don't want to ruin the good tongs for that type of stuff, right? Well, it shouldn't hurt the tongs, but uh, may as well use the tools we have, you know? <laughs> Got quite the thing all of a sudden. Oh, look at it go. Ah! Yeah, really. It's like it's screaming flame coming out of its mouth. Ah! That's a googly eyes. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Add that in post. You should. <laughs> Yeah, I'm already looking at the bottom again. Oh, look at that. All the fucking old paint and everything. Because those uh, particular cans, they have a lot of paint on them. Oh, yeah. You know 
What? Can you make a... Did you make a safety first pyramid? <laughs> safety last pyramid. Oh, it's actually like the weight of it's pushing the other one in. And it's, this one on this side is turning, uh, it's melting. And it's changing colors. Oh my god. <laughs> You see fire spitting out. Oh, it's mad. We are mad. That's pretty insane. Should I toss your lawnmower blade in there? Um, not yet. Uh, oh, it looks like the uh, aluminum solidified. Oh, heck. I had a pot of water, right? Yeah. Use your bare hand. I'll pick it up later, being super. Yeah, they're Water dancing on it. Not sure if you can see it on camera. Doesn't look like it from my end. Maybe once I get into the computer, it'll be fine. Some back, some difference in color, some sort of thing. I don't know, but it's cool. Oh yeah. Well, that didn't work. See if we can uh, take that not so nice one out with tongs. Oh, yeah. Hello. Good day. Water in the can. <laughs> now he's thinking. Cool. Would you like me to check how the big piece of steel is doing? Um, I can kind of see from here. It's not quite up to heat yet. <laughs> Yeah. It would be cool if they made some sort of heat resistant seat for things you can make it so. Yeah. Here, I'm going to turn this off for now. That's our first cast there. Nice and cooled off. Oop. Let me zoom. <laughs> well, look at that. Full focus. There we go. Turn it around. Yeah. Look at that. There we go. <laughs> to get a bit closer. To it. That's probably one of the biggest ones we've made. It is definitely. Oh look, it's got, it's, it went over the edges a little bit even. So that's as big as one of the molds is. And uh, we're putting cans in here and it's melting super duper quick. <laughs> look at that, it's all slag on the surface, but... Toss a can in there. Yeah, this is crazy at this point. Just hold the top of it. You see the big puff of air? <laughs> yeah. This is... And then it goes. Pretty cool. Oh, Good egg. I'm having a third round. Thank you. Thank 
So yeah, it's a big puff. Yeah. <laughs> All the air is taken from the way. Pretty insane. Oh yeah. Good thing we got lots of cans. Oh yeah. I think this is a much <laughs> cheaper, more efficient way of making it. Probably toss some more charcoal in there. This is Gurk's Master oh, Troy. Yeah, it is like red hot, way more so than before. <laughs> yeah, watch out for sparks and things. A little bit of hot uh... Oh, that is working amazingly well. A few more minutes so it gets I shouldn't smoking. take too long the way things are going for to keep back I up know. It. Even cans are melting at an insane rate. See the heat's already creeping up the blade. Yeah, really. You can see it's little, you can time lapse it and show it going. Find those cans are melting crazy fast. We'll have to see how much there is in four again. I don't think we'll have as much as we did before, but we might just throw more in. Well, the problem with pop cans is they just don't get as much just because there's so much paint and other things. It just uh, creates a lot of slag. So. Uh, not the highest quality stuff, really. <laughs> that pipe, though, that was really good. That was cool. If we could find more material like that, we'd be golden. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh man, that blade is getting hot again. Oh yeah. Now wait for this one to go down. Toss that on, and then... As soon as this one's sitting on its own, should be yeah. fine. There you go. All right. Alrighty. Let's do another round. Yeah, I say we have some celebratory hamburgers later as well. Because <laughs> yeah. this is cool as hell. I'm going to back up a little bit, yeah. just in case. You can see the scale. Oh, I'll come with that. Yeah, now I'm getting the tank a bit closer to where I actually want it. Pretty cool. Already cool, it's amazing, eh? Like. Yeah, definitely doesn't stay hot for long, but look at that. It's starting to but it actually takes. become a, a proper handle shape. And not on purpose. <laughs> Pretty impressive. Let's done dry. Well, you've got a cool anvil that works now, so I guess we'll keep at it for a little while. And update you when it's when you're happy with your handle. Absolutely. Alrighty, so we've been melting for a while here now. Got it pretty close to full. Pretty well close to where we had it before. Oh, at least. I would say. And uh, I've been just kind of trying to forge stuff back a little bits here and there between stuff. We just kind of went at it just throwing the cans in, can after can after can immediately. And that seemed to have gotten us some better results. That's tossing another chunk of aluminum in as a base. Yes. So. There's another piece of aluminum from the scrapyard that uh, I remembered I had in the trunk. So Yeah, this is looking pretty soupy. So should I 
Grab the pond. I think we may as well, friend. Time has come. Just the sun comes out. <laughs> I think we had this happening the last time we were doing this. I think that's the whole thing you would switch every so often. Yeah, that's a decent size ingot right there. Uh, hopefully this will bring out better. Yes. I remember we had something like that last time we did this. Yeah. And we just kind of kept melting it and melting it. Oh, we can just add, yeah, we'll just add it on top. Yep. See the chunks now. All right, it's getting pretty goopy there in the center again. Yep. Just the way we want. <laughs> So we'll probably just keep reheating it and dropping until we feel like we got the most of it. Scooping bits like that off the top. Just kind of been collecting them in this. <laughs> top of uh, Brand's Chimenea. Liquid again. When ready? Don't shake it too much now. <laughs> Probably just wind up oxidizing it on the surface. Or you decide to pour on top, eh? Yeah. Let's see how it works. I wonder how much of this is now slagged. It's been pushed to the bottom by the yeah. cans. And Good idea. Cool. Alrighty, we'll get back to you when we think we're ready. All right, so here we are back. And uh, we've just been, we've switched to just forging now. Uh, we finished smelting. We've got uh, that ingot right there. That little bead, as you can see on the table there. But yeah, that was our last pour there. And do you have the ingot from the first one? Oh, it's right here. Yeah, pretty cool stuff. With the grain on that. And if, I'm not sure if the camera is able to see it or not. You can look really close and you can almost see the crystalline structure of the aluminum as it wound up hardening. So that's pretty fucking neat. <laughs> well, that's definitely probably the biggest thing that we've made so far. Oh, sure. Look at the size of the whole size of the arrow. It's a whole try. We'll measure it later and see how much it weighs. Yeah. One. Is it a bit fuzzy for some reason? There we go. Two of them. Two of them. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we're just heating up three pieces of steel here. We have, uh, the mower blade, which I'm turning into the machete. Uh, grab the tongs and let's open this up. Where are the tongs? That's how it works, I guess. And we have this bar of steel you can see right there. That was a very thick piece of same kind of plate as we have there. And we also have a 
roller bearing in here, which I was able to flatten somewhat. It's right there, I think. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's fucking hot, as you can see. Want to switch it up? Yeah, you want to? I can forge it. And... Oh, uh, I thought you maybe you wanted to try because uh, we don't really have any footage of you forging. If you can get a good grip on that, where are the tongs go? <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're over there. <laughs> my bad. Left them there when I accidentally burnt my finger a little bit. <laughs> you can try either the bar or the roller bearing, whichever you prefer. Yep. You definitely want to hold it so that the tongs are off the edge of the anvil. I mean, that is a thick piece of steel. Yeah. That is probably close to an inch thick at the moment. Oh, at least. I wound up flattening it pretty substantially. Because that was round. <laughs> it wasn't like circular round. Well, it was like a cylinder is what it was. Can we haul out the other big piece too? May as well. Give that a shot. I accidentally dropped the roller bearing area earlier and I kind of burnt in my sweater a little bit, as you can see. Oh well, it's an old sweater. That's the reason I uh, use that instead of anything else. That thing is definitely getting drawn out. Definitely a lot thinner than it was. Nice. So yeah, that's basically the forging process. Oops, my bad. Pretty cool stuff. All right, I'm gonna see if I can get the. We're get, pr getting pretty close to getting the handle done on this machete. As you can see, it's kind of turned inward there. I kind of want to heat up to where it is, you know, not hot right now. <laughs> so we'll uh, put the lid on this thing, maybe move it around slightly, and we'll see what we can do. All right. All right, so here we are, and uh, we finished forging. We set set the forge off and got everything cooling down because it's just bloody tired by this point. But we've got the crucible here. Don't know how well it sounds. You can hear the sound, but if you do, we don't know if it's still boiling inside. Like or what? Because it's we've at the bottom of it. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, uh, focus. There we go. You can see the bottom of the crucible was melted through. There and on the side there as well. Basically the only thing plugging those holes is the fucking dross and fucking shit in there. And now but you can hear like the bubbling going through it. We sat it in the water bucket and we left it in there for like, I don't know, close to an, half an hour or more. It's still... It was just bubbling. <laughs> it would still bubble a bit. If you could, yeah, you see there. Still bubbling away. So we don't know if it's boiling or if there's just a lot of airspace in there or what the hell's happening, but it's pretty crazy. But uh, in a second here, when I think these are cool enough, we're going to dunk them in the water. Because we don't want to give them a, too much of a thermal shock. It might be... We might be okay with that machete. Can you uh, pick it up with your gloves there? The machete? Yeah. Let's see. Here, just hold it out, and I'll kind of. I don't really feel too much heat around it, so I think it's safe. So I'll dunk this in. It'll probably hiss a little bit. No, it doesn't, which is probably ideal. <laughs> we don't want it to be hissing. Alrighty, so that should be. A little steam, but. Yeah. 
Just a little bit. So the next piece, little pieces then, I guess. If I can get them out. Yeah, that's definitely cool now. Well, that one should not have gone in yet. <laughs> oh well, too late now. Take it out, <laughs> put it on the steel here. It's pretty. Yeah, I was gonna say, roller shouldn't put those ones in yet, but anyways. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just what it is. But that was our roller bearing. Which. We don't have an shoot. example of another. Well, I have some in the trunk. That's true. Here, you uh, kind of explain that one in the other place, and I'll go grab the example. All right. So this used to be some sort of attachment for, like a plow or something. You can see the difference in thickness now from one end to the other. Quite a bit of difference. So four hours or so later. That's including the bearing, though. It's still bubbling away down here. I don't know if you could see it anywhere, but... It's pretty weird. Here, Chris with another plate of steel as an example and a roller bearing. So this is what it looked like previously. <laughs> oh god, that thing's still bubbling. Quite the difference. There. That was not easy because trying to grip a round object like this with flat tongs. <laughs> not making your life easy. But uh, we did it. <laughs> and have that piece of steel over there. Uh, where's the tongs at? Right there. I don't know if I've really ever shown what the tongs look like, but this is kind of what they look like. So, we were basically gripping it like this. Not and the just smashing it flat. Until it was more of a rectangular shape we could easily, much more easily grip. Let's see, we have this steel plate here. It would have been the same length originally, like as this one, but and the thickness it just wouldn't be as wide this way. But it doesn't really matter too much. You can definitely see <laughs> how much we smashed that down. So <laughs> it's pretty impressive. That was definitely a lot of fun. What was that? Something pop. <laughs> All sorts of weird sounds happen. Yeah, who knows. Anyways, that was definitely a lot of fun. And, uh, oh, I just want to, now that's cool enough, I can actually hold it. I can see that is pretty close to where I want it to be in terms of handle length. So now I just have to refine the blade shape. Refine the, yeah, that, that is actually a fairly nice curve, actually. Definitely need to clean all the scale off. And you can see here, this is where whenever I was pounding down onto it, it kind of bent over a little bit. And I tried to correct that, but it appears some of it kind of wound up just folding over onto here. Because that's not really attached, I don't think. I think that's just flattened tiny bits of steel. <laughs> but uh, with a grinder, I can definitely fix that up. Shouldn't be a problem. It looks like it's still thick enough. Certainly for a handle. But yeah, once I... I might keep the thickness, just kind of work on the point. Then a lot of it would wind up just being grinding. Definitely have to... It is not straight. No, <laughs> for sure. I don't see that on the camera. But uh, it's not straight. That is not straight. So I'll have to work on that as well. And refine the point, grind it up nice. And that should... Be a pretty decent machete, I would say. I think so. Like, even right now, if it was just sharp, that would be a cleaver. <laughs> oh, yeah. Obviously, it's not very fun to grip that. <laughs> but a nice new wooden handle. Exactly. So, yeah, this will be 
nice little project for sure. <laughs> I think so. And I think for, you know, a couple of beginners, <laughs> I think we did all right. Absolutely. It helps that we had good equipment, obviously. Uh, this anvil was definitely a big help. Being able to have this anvil. <laughs> yeah, that changes <laughs> things a big time. time and effort. Uh, the forge, we were able to get that working in such a way that works. we to achieve the he heats that we need. Works better with that. Yep. And the pipe with the holes and the charcoal. Yeah. yeah. Next time we'll have to, uh, we'll get the anvil onto a stand, hopefully, by that point. And we'll have a vise attached to uh, our old anvil stand here. We'll take that steel plate off and just put the vise on there. Because the vise is just handy in general. Oh, big time. And uh, to help with a lot of our different projects we have planned. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I think we did a good job here. I think so. All right. Until next time, have a great day from Kirk's Mastering Hillbillies. See you later.